um, psychiatric care wise it has actually brought in, uh, the need for psychiatric care uh, to the surface so if you remember pre-covid uh, psychiatry was pretty much a Cinderella service uh, people wouldn't seek help unless they were absolutely necessary or they were quite acute but um, th this is a silver lining so as to say the pandemic brought out uh, lots of different mood issues uh, you know coping issues that people suffer from uh, and, and it's, a, it's a good thing to see that people come out and try to seek help in time and in terms of delivering the care uh, there has also been again advancements because you know psychiatry is not a very hands-on service so we don't need to do a lot of testing um, physical testing per se so uh, telepsychiatry and remote uh, care has been a very uh, big advantage for our uh, service delivery actually so we've seen a lot of uh, uh, service being delivered by uh, teleconsultations and uh, that way so it, it's it's not been interrupted if anything it has gotten a lot more uh, momentum through the pandemic absolutely I mean because people have been locked up for so long and and then I think it's uh, so COVID affected different people in different ways there were there was this group of people who were actually affected by the virus itself so those uh, they are their symptoms actually symptomatically they are a little different from the others uh, for example having uh, an inflammatory response uh, has caused them to have more uh, you know uh, predominantly uh, anxi anxiety or depression type of uh, mood issues and and then there are people who are not affected by the COVID uh, virus but they were in you know lockdown or they were estranged from families for a long period um, and, and then that uh, in in turn uh, resulted in some amount of uh, insomnia and anxiety and coping OCDs came up uh, so it, it, there have been different um, phases in which people have reported some have been very acutely sick and some have been who were not previously mentally ill have come up and said yes i notice that i'm not sleeping as well or i notice that i'm worrying too much or i am cleaning too much um, so that that kind of a general theme overall so it's 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 a spectrum actually i i want to be optimistic uh, and i think like i always said uh, it's a silver lining uh, many people on different platforms from the leadership of the countries across the world to um, you know healthcare people are advocating for mental health people are advocating not just for um, you know to treat mental ill being but also to uh, you know pay attention to mental well-being so there is this huge momentum that's taken uh, up which talks about staying healthy you know and keeping well mentally and physically so I am really optimistic that uh, seeking uh, psychiatric help will become a little bit easier people will be more com comfortable talking about um, you know I'm not doing so well I need uh, I need some support so uh, I, I think that's where we are heading so people will be more mindful about their psychiatric needs